Hi, welcome to my channel about fishing technique, embedded systems and robotics. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. The focus of this video is my Raspberry Pi 2, which runs Linux and in combination with C Sharp I try to uh, control the GPIO, which is right here, and with that band cable, which is connected to this breadboard for um, controlling LED um, another LED uh, from Vision Technique and I want to try to read not control um, the input from this LDR from Vision Technique and LDR is a light dependent resistor also um, I will try to uh, get things done through graphics mode so in order to, uh, to show that I now switch to uh, screencast so this is uh, the screencast with the Raspberry Pi connected via the um, band cable to a breadboard as I showed LED, fish technique LED uh, yet to be connected um, LDR um, this is SSH connection and Minicom connection. This one I really have to use um, in order to start everything. After which I can go in with SSH. Um, if the networking connection, which is that one, if that one fails, I still have that one, which is the serial connection. So, um, then obviously uh, the VNC, and you can see I already ran something, but um, in order to get everything running, and I already prepared, um, at least in drawing, the uh, LDR, so I have yet to connect it, but code comes first. So. FDR, LDR, and then I have to do something to read, and that is yet to come. But let's uh, first test anything from this. So I built everything. Uh, never used, well, not used yet. Uh, no use to run it here on the laptop. I have to run it right. Here, this is the graphical display unhandled exception. Why will that be? Because I put an unused pin in here. So let me disconnect these two, build all again. Run again. And then it does work. So there is something I should check on. Oh wait, yeah, I already noticed. Uh, this one is not good. It should be P1 pin 16. So that's a good uh, pointer. Right, I am trying to get this situation. And uh, with the LDR, and there's a little problem. This is totally valid. As is this. The only problem is um, it won't work because a Raspberry Pi has no analog input only um, digital input so in order to get it I need to use a digital to analog converter which I don't have present in this uh, schematics so um, since this is an analog uh, device right now it's out of the equation 
which also means for now um, this one goes exit, this one and this one unfortunately so what can I do? well what I can do is uh, given the fact that I am trying to get things done in uh, graphics mode to get that done so this whole thing can go this can go what is next? well yeah the graphics how do I display this into uh, my graphics? and that will be a challenge something new to me so I need to find out in very short that we build it no expected symbol, why is that? is this not running anymore then? Uh, well this is the graphics obviously and I want those digits in here So, yeah. And here goes an exception. So, I need to uh, find what's wrong with this. Probably here. Let's see if that solves it. Most likely, yes. Yeah, build successful. Okay. So, anyway, trying to get those digits in the graphics environment. After quite some trying uh, during almost two hours, um, I find two things. First of all, I have um, a problem reading here and using that in the main windows. Um, and then, hopefully this still works. No, I cannot do that. Um, yes. So, I want to have those numbers that you saw earlier into this. Turns out that this, these two windows or these two parts cannot interchange information. This one is purely to set the environment which this one then executes. No data interchange is possible. So, um, then um, it is says uh, it is said that you should in program.cs put some tag which is an object to put your information in there. All nice, but you can't implicitly convert or explicitly convert integer to tag. And I'm not the first one to try, and I'm not the first one to fill in this, so if I manage somehow to get the I um, into the stack and display then in the graphical window, I'm very happy. Uh, so this is yet to be found to uh, work, but so far I am stuck here. So basically, in idea, I want to do this. So um, this one is being uh, assigned to tag 2 and then I apply it to the texture buffer. But that you know, can't work, unfortunately. So how to do that? I don't know. and. Um, lots of uh, things are possible, but this one isn't. How to solve it? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Or redirect me to um, a thing that I haven't found yet. And so far this uh, ends this experiment for now. So with this something um, disappointing result, 
I uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video anyway, please uh, subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up and click the bell for notification. Leave a comment or suggestion. Uh, um, is it possible what I want or not? And if it is possible, how should I do it? Give a link. You can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram and you can also support, which is very much appreciated, via a donation um, on PayPal and on Ko-fi and you can become a patron for as little as two euros or two dollars a month. Much appreciated. Please take a look at my website and this is most likely to be continued. For now, have a great day, take care, stay safe, bye.